Every year, the tech world descends on Las Vegas to highlight the latest industry innovations, from cars equipped with artificial intelligence to robotic baristas. The focus of the 2024 Consumer Electronics Show, discovering what's new as we enter the new year. Joining me now to break it all down is Kathy Hackle, author, futurist, and co-CEO of Spatial Dynamics. Kathy, thank you for speaking with us today. I'm thrilled to be here. Kathy, the tech world moves so quickly. Tell us about some of the game changers we were introduced to at this year's CES. So CES was full, obviously, of lots of new technology. Um, everything was infused with artificial intelligence. So products that maybe a couple of years ago were referred to as connected uh, products or connect connected cars now are AI-driven cars. AI pillows, everything had AI. Uh, you had a lot of different cars showing artificial intelligence being used inside the cars, as well as sometimes having screens for gaming inside the vehicle. So you almost have to think of them as smartphones on wheels at times. Um, and then you also had, you know, everything from an AI pillow uh, to things that would scan your face and tell you what routine you should do for beauty. There was also a lot of strange things at CES. Uh, and I'm going to share a couple of the strangest things that were on the show floor. Uh, one of them is called the Wii Head, as in the, someone's head. It is pretty much a couple of screens put together where instead of using Zoom on a flat screen, you would use that and you could see your face. Uh, it also had an AI component, so you could put a face on artificial intelligence if you wanted to. It was a really strange, uh, a strange concoction of screens to use AI. Uh, so that was very strange. You also had something called the Shift Robotics Moonwalkers. So if you're one of those people that for some reason wants to walk a lot faster, <laughs> you could put these devices on your feet. And depending on the device model and the program, you can walk faster. So if you're one of those people that needs to walk faster and get somewhere faster, uh, this could be a solution. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then another one that was uh, caught people's attention was also called the Zoo Gears The Butter. That's the name. It's a musical instrument for dogs. So the first musical instrument for dogs, because apparently we need to teach dogs to play music and Fido can be the next Mozart. Uh, so yeah, those, you know, a lot of game changing technology, but also some weird, weird technology at CES. All right. And Kathy, of course, to your point, artificial intelligence has really exploded over the last little bit. There's a lot of fun items at CES, but talk to us about concerns that the industry is perhaps responding to. Of course, people are talking about just how rapidly AI is growing and perhaps job losses with its advancements. So how is the tech industry responding to that? There were definitely a lot of conversations, whether it was in the conference and the panels or conversations on the show floor about artificial intelligence. Is this a, is it going too fast? Is this good for society? Uh, do we really need to put it into everything that we use on a daily basis? Uh, so there is that you know conversation around, are we moving too fast? Is this beneficial? Uh, there was also conversations around privacy and security. How much information are these devices uh, you know taking when they're when they're being used? Conversations also around safety uh, and deep fakes. A lot of conversations around deep fakes as well uh, around artificial intelligence. So th there's definitely that, you know, those thoughts. Um, some conversations as well related to uh, artificial intelligence and running large language models when it comes to the environmental impact and the amount of energy to run some of these uh, some of these models. So while it was very upbeat and there was a lot of amazing technology at CES, there were still these conversations and a lot of questions, right? Because it's been uh, it's been moving so incredibly fast that I think people are just trying to catch their breaths. Mm -hmm. And Kathy, when we think our technology is capable of doing anything and everything it does always advance. So, you know, where does tech go from here? Any predictions of future technology trends? Definitely lots of predictions. Uh, what we're starting to see is a race to, re to replace our mobile phones, right? We uh, Our mobile phones are something most of us cannot live without, especially the younger generation. Uh, but there's this race to replace them. Uh, there was a device called the Rabbit R1. It's like a little retro looking voice assistant of sorts that connects to your apps. Uh, that's actually sold out within minutes when it went on sale during CES. And that's kind of been something people are talking about. Then you had the Apple Vision Pro, which is Apple's first spatial computer uh, that was announced during CES, even though Apple wasn't really there in person, but they took over the news. And that's kind of a, a device that it, you wear on your head and that does spatial computing, which is what's going to replace mobile computing in some ways. So you've got a lot of conversation around the post-smartphone future and the devices that you're going to start to see to potentially replace 
uh, our mobile phones, right? So most people might be familiar with VR headsets. Well, this is one step further and those devices could be glasses, could be spatial computers, could be AI pins or little voice assistants. Um, yeah, so that's a big trend in the post-smartphone future in finding ways to replace our mobile phones. You're gonna start to see a lot more of that coming. We've come so far from the flip phone. Kathy, thank you very much for breaking it all down for us. We appreciate your time today. Thank you. That was Kathy Hackle, co-CEO of Spatial Dynamics.